Okay guys, so I've had lots of help from people on the multi-rotor forums so I thought I would give people a bit of an update video on where all that help has, has taken me on my first venture into building a multi-rotor vehicle, aircraft. As you can see it's the flame wheel F550 that I chose as my first build and what we're looking at at the moment is just a case full of extras I've almost got enough now to build a, a second vehicle, a second aircraft this here is my uh, battery charger so it's a balance charger, will discharge and charge I found that advice on buying one of those to be great, saved me money buying the wrong one so I've got the right one to start with then in this box that I've got, which is a quite a hefty aluminium box, I've got various bits and pieces, extras, spare arms, almost enough to to build a new craft. Lots and lots of uh, heat shrink, spare cable ties, spare landing gear motors, cable, just about everything you can think of that you might need extra should you ha have a crash or suffer some kind of failure. I've just been doing some batteries with the soldering iron so that's all set up to go and this is the toolkit that I've built up which stays at home. Going over to the carry case that I've purchased it's a Pelly case 1630 by popular opinion it seemed to be the right one to buy and I think in practice it does actually fit very very well with the DJI 550 and I'm still configuring this a little bit but I've got most of what I need in there First of all, the case itself. If we close that up, you can see it has six catchers. It's airtight, watertight, and will withstand a chemical attack, apparently. Not that I'm expecting one. So, the DJI 550 slots nicely into there. A spare tower. It's the collapsible tower, but at this moment in time, I'm just going to see how we go before I dispense with the stock tower that came with the 550. If I lift this out, comes out nice and easy. Take out the first layer of foam. You can see how things are getting configured inside. So, I've got my batteries. Got room for the Fat Shark FPV visor. Turnergy, sorry, the Spectrum DX7S. Slots nicely in there, nice and safe. Five batteries being carried. Spare toolkit and inside in here got all sorts of spares cable ties etc screws velcro any little bits and pieces for uh, ongoing repairs that might need to be made whilst out flying so that's that just close up the box and we'll take a look at the 550 that I've built so Pretty much as it comes out of the box, quite happy with things as we go. And the only real big addition has been the GoPro Go Pro 3 Plus Black Edition camera and the Firetech, I think it is, gimbal, which I've found to be pretty robust and very, very easy to set up. 
landing gear as well as you can see has been added from the stock landing gear that comes with the kit and there are some little foam pads that you can put on but I've dispensed with those as they make getting the 550 or 